Good morning, FHS. It's almost Friday. After the pledge will be call Coach Kids, College Visit, Booster Club, and more. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Coach Kids is looking for mentors. If you do not know what Coach Kids is, it is where you get matched with a mentor, meet once a month during the school year, set goals and get the tools and resources to find success after high school, and lastly, there is a monthly gift card drawing. If interested, be sure to contact your guidance counselor for more information. If you are interested in going to Indiana University in Bloomington, they will be here September 18th from 8.20 to 8.50 a.m. Be sure to go sign up in student services. The Booster Club will have pulled pork barbecue on the menu at the concession stands for, this, for the football game this Friday. They are now accepting debit and credit cards. Also, don't forget the Kona Ice Truck will be there, too. Be sure to come out, eat, and support the hot dogs. Now to Ethan Hutzpah's brother for sports. Good morning, Gaties and Lentlemen. It's Thursday, everyone. That means it's almost Friday. Then we got a three-day weekend with Labor Day. What's everyone got planned for the weekend? Since it's the last day of August, we're going to start a new segment called Athlete of the Month. This first month of the year, the Female Athlete of the Month is volleyball player Lily Rockhold. She's been killing it this year, only being a freshman. Congrats, Lily. And Male Athlete of the Month is Chris Angelis. Chris has been going crazy this year for the cross-country team, setting a new school record. Congrats, Chris. Make this month a, a good one, Hot Dogs, to be crowned the next Athlete of the Month. But back to sports. Last night with the only team playing, the volleyball team, unfortunately fell to the Panthers over at Western, 0-3. Nice effort, ladies. Y'all get them next time. For sports tonight, the volleyball team is playing two nights in a row, traveling to West Lafayette to play the Red Devils, JV starting at 6, and varsity following. Best of luck, ladies. Go, go get this bounce back game. We've got the boys soccer team traveling to Eastern to play the Comets at 5.30. Make sure to wish them a good luck. Go win two in a row, boys. And finally, the girls soccer team is, play, is finally getting their turn to play. They're traveling to Northwestern to play the Tigers. Go get them. Show them who the dogs are. That wraps up sports for today. Pretty sh short segment today. Hope everyone has a terrific Thursday and gets pumped because it's almost Friday. Now to Ingrid with today's weather, baby. What is up, hot dogs? It's already Thursday. This week is going by fast. This morning it was chilly and we started with our low of 50 degrees and our high is 75 degrees around 4 p.m. We'll mostly have sunny, clear skies, so go out and enjoy the day. Looks like that's pretty much it for weather. Now ha have a great day. Now back to Edwin and Doug. This morning, I had the pleasure, along with Edwin, of presenting Mr. Hammond with his four Indiana Beach tickets. Congrats on winning the tickets donated by our superfan, Forrest. Today, for lunch in lines one and two, is spicy chicken sandwich. Line three is closed today, but in lines four and five is Big Daddy Pizza. Also, a special announcement that coming soon to your lunch lines is ice cream. We'd like to wish a big happy birthday to Alejandro Alman, Alejandro Santillan, and Alexis Santillan. That's all for day, today, my fellow peers. Make sure you have a thriving Thursday. Also, a quick little shout out to my guy, Caden Escarena.